Oh, Basketball, like go to the rim. Go to the rim. Go Same to the rim, huh? Uh, Montrez Harrell is on your list, yours and GA's list, the best offseason pickups, including uh, the Bulls pickups, DeMar DeRozan, Lonzo Ball, and then the two Wizards, Kuzma, Trez, Ricky Rubio in Cleveland. I could come up with some other names as well. Uh, who, who do you want to focus on here, GA, in terms of what's what's made – sense to you so far? Well, I, I think all these guys have been incredible, and I, I'm going to go with the bookends. I think the Rosen and Rubio are the two guys that have really stood out for me and Smitty. I'll, I'll, DeMar DeRozan, right? He, he's had a career revitalization. A lot of people forgot about him in those couple years in San Antonio, and it wasn't that he was bad. It's just that the Spurs weren't good. Right. Uh, now he's on a team that has a chance to be a legit contender, I think, in that Eastern Conference, and he... I don't understand why he hasn't gotten more talk about the MVP early in the season because he has been really, really good for this group. They're defending at a high level. Mm -hmm. Their chemistry has been great. And it's a hard scenario when you think of all the new pieces that they brought in to integrate that and to have them playing at the level that they're playing at. Man, it's been really impressive. And if you're a Chicago Bulls fan right now, this is about as good as you've felt since the pre-knee injury yeah. to Derrick Rose. Also, a, a great marriage of team need and player skill, right? It yes. doesn't always come together with these offseason moves. That one makes perfect sense in a lot of ways. It is. GA said it. I, and I love that he is shooting the mid-range. He's averaging 27 points <laughs> from the mid-range, basically. I mean, he'll heal the three every now and then. But I think I also love Lonzo Ball. I don't know how you give up on Lonzo Ball in New Orleans. Here's a kid. I mean, everything was about his shot. Mm -hmm. and the look of it, the percentages. That is one of the best looking jump shots right now. Now you start looking at percentages, and the Lakers had to be sick the way he played the other day against them. And then also, he is a team first guy. I look at Lonzo, I look at DeMar DeRozan, I look at Zach Levine. That is a nice trio of guys with size, GA. That, they, that's what, 6'7, 6'6, 6'7? You can switch everything. They all, they're all three from California. So all those guys <laughs> are playing the right way. I, I love the way Lonzo Ball has worked on his shot. And now it's effective, too. He's shooting like 44% from three. Yep. DeRozan and Ball accounted for 65 points in the win against the Lakers on Monday night. Uh, the two guys in the middle, Kuzma and uh, Montrezl Harrell, are not only playing well as individuals, but Tommy Shepard, who was just promoted today, by the way, to president with the Washington Wizards. Executive um, of the year right now. He, he <laughs> may well be executive of the year. because, And this is not a knock on Russell Westbrook, but they solved a problem in terms of their roster by moving Westbrook in terms of creating some flexibility and bringing in these parts that make sense around Bradley Beal. And uh, both those guys are playing their role, and obviously I think Kuzma is even playing a different role for me because I know he loves to score GA, but those 9.1 rebounds, Ooh. that is huge. If you can average a double-double in this league from basically a small forward position. But I think another guy, GA, along with Michael Hill, is Spencer Dinwiddie. Mm -hmm. He has been fantastic. That chemistry, those three guys, and I'm still amazed. How tall is Montrezl Hill, GA? 6'7", with a 7'1 with a wingspan. <laughs> with some Patrick Ewing wristbands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some wristbands. All the way up his forearm. I love him. I mean, I, I really thought GA, you know, watching him last year with the Lakers, I'm like, Montrezl Hill, is he, he don't fit. He lost a step. Mm -hmm. It looks like a di different home. He looks like a different home. He looks like the Clippers, Montrezl Hill. GA, you, you mentioned his name earlier, but we didn't really get into Ricky Rubio who I, I thought he had this effect on the Suns a couple of years yes. ago when they brought him in. They, they didn't really have a true point guard. Talk about a steadying influence. This is like a prototypical point guard. He wants to pass the ball. He wants to facilitate for others. And now he's hitting threes all of a sudden for the first time in his career. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, th the best part, too, is how it's going to help Darius Garland in his growth. And that's the, the, the best part about it. You, you not only bring in a veteran, but you bring in a guy that one can play with Garland, but he's also just continued to evolve. Remember, this is a guy when he first came in our league, not known as a guy that could make an open shot. Right. And now all of a sudden he's become a pretty uh, uh, consistent three-point shooter, always been a great facilitator, understands the concepts defensively in terms of positioning, and their culture is starting to change. Like they're now going into games expecting – to win and and that with a young team man that, that is the first step is when you get to a point when you go into a game you say guys if we do a b and c we're gonna have a chance to win mm -hmm. and i think the cleveland Cavs are at that point 
Uh, watch them the other night against Boston. There's so much fun. There's such great energy around that team. Very long. By the way, there was a reason that Rubio had a reputation as a guy who couldn't hit an open shot, and that's because he could not hit an open shot. <laughs>